everybody. It is a Wednesday and this is my last day off of three. I go back to work tomorrow for two, 12 and a half hour days and then I'm off the weekend, which is great. But um, I am running low of some things in my house, so I'm taking a quick ride to the store. I have to get a few um, things that we need. So I'm doing it safely. I'm not bringing my phone in the store and I have a paper list. I also have my mask ready to go. Woo! I almost dropped it. So I thought I would take you along with me. Um, however, I'm not gonna be filming inside of stores because of safety reasons. I'm going to be leaving my phone either zipped in my pocket so I don't touch it or in my car. I might just zip it in my pocket in case there's an emergency and my daughter needs me. But I do have um, hand sanitizers with me and I will be using those after I touch stuff and the mask on my face will ensure that I don't touch my face. So um, let's go see what ShopRite looks like. I'm hoping since it's like 1030, the morning rush is gone and I can get in and out, get the few things that I need. I also have to stop at Home Depot because I, I would like to get a can of paint in and out real quick. I believe they're already mixed for outdoor white. So I can just grab that can of paint and get out of there because my porch needs to be freshened and I would like to do that since this weekend I'm off Monday, Saturday and Sunday and I'll need something to do. So I'm gonna rush in there, get my paint, rush to ShopRite, get the few things that I need in and out and then decon my stuff and carry on with my day. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I also have a new Instagram. I don't know which way to point yet. I will get this. <laughs> I will get this down eventually. Um, follow me on Instagram. It's everyday underscore tidbits. And make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. Now let's get started with my day because it's already 1030 and I feel like I slept way too late today. So off to the store we go. So I'm at the Home Depot and the line is way down the parking lot. So I am going to be here for a while. So I guess I'll bring my phone with me and just zipper it in my pocket in case my daughter needs me. You can see I'm wearing my mask because there is a long line and I will be staying way behind the person in front of me. Holy moly, that is some line. I'm gonna be here for a while. I survived the Home Depot. Um, I got a can of paint and I bought some Rust-Oleum so that I can uh, freshen up my patio furniture as well. Let me tell you, they have this line outside of the store with cones set up and poles in them that clearly state six feet. People do not know how to follow directions. I kept inching forward, inching forward to get away from the asshole, the, the guy that was standing behind me. Excuse my language, I'm sorry. Um, to get away from the guy that was standing behind me and he just kept inching and inching and inching finally I turn around and I give him the death stare and I think he finally took a hint like get off my back dude um, the old guy in front of me was on top of the guy in front of him so I don't understand what the point of this um, line is if nobody's gonna follow directions it's frustrating frustrating um, so anyway I get inside and it's crowded in there, so what's the point of the line? What's the point of the line? I think I'm never, I'm not going out to Home Depot any, anymore, anymore until this is over because um, unfortunately our society isn't following directions properly. And I guess I really, I mean, I didn't need to go to Home Depot, but I, I wanted to get this paint to have something to do because I need a creative outlet. I need something to do. So I got a can of paint so that I could freshen up my porch. And now I'm heading to ShopRite because I do need essential things over there. And I will be back soon. I just needed to vent for a minute because people are insane right now. They're insane. Lord, help the people of this world. All right, so I made it to ShopRite. I'm gonna run in. This parking lot doesn't look too bad. Um, I parked far away, but then somebody parked right next to me, which is weird because I parked far away so I can walk. <laughs> and then um, there's no line to get in here, which is good because there's a guard at the door and they're counting the amount of people that go in. So since there's no line, it means there's not a lot of people inside. So I'm gonna get 
what I need on my list real quick and be in and out so I could get home and wash this stuff. I'll talk I to you soon. home from ShopRite and now the decon process is going to start. I got everything out of my car and it's on my porch right now so I'm going to be wiping everything down with Clorox and bringing it into the house to put away. This is what I wound up getting from ShopRite. I did go in for laundry and hair stuff and cleaning supplies and a couple other little things that I picked up while I was in there because it wasn't that crowded. Um, I was in and out in, I would probably say about 30 minutes because when I got to the register, there was a snafu. It crashed when I was there. So I had to wait a couple minutes for the register to boot back up. So I wound up getting cream cheese and bagels because we eat that a lot. I got some turkey sausage, eggs, bacon, creamer, baking soda, and flour for some baking ideas, Velveeta for a recipe. I got some brownie mix, some Bisquick, two boxes of cereal, a bag of pretzels, um, pancake mix, ice cream. Uh, I got my shampoo and conditioner, some Downy Unstoppables, Windex. I usually buy the lavender, but they didn't have it, so I got the ShopRite brand. <clears throat> Two things of Pledge for dusting the house. Fabric softener, I usually use Bounce, but they didn't have it, so I just got this for now. Um, I used Downy uh, fabric softener as well, but they didn't have it, so I wound up getting Suavitel. Some more detergent that I needed. I got some syrup, and that was what I ran in for, like marathon shopping, and I was in and out in 30 minutes. So I won't have to go for a while. So <laughs> there's my shopper at all. To Home Depot as well. And when I was in there, I just got paint, the white paint for my porch that I'm gonna freshen up with. My daughter needed some paint for something, so I got that. And then I got two cans of Rust-Oleum Hammered Look Black so that I can um, spray my porch patio furniture and give that another, a little facelift for another day. It's very windy outside today, so I'm not doing that today, but this is for another day project probably the weekend so this is what i picked up at home depot daughter and i are gonna have some fried clams and taquitos for lunch she made it in the air fryer and after that i'm going to just take care of a few more things around the house i have to fold laundry and i need to get some kind of exercise in i'm thinking about going for a walk but it's really cold outside and windy i might just suck it up and go for a walk because i do like the way the sun feels on my head but first we're gonna have a little bite to eat I decided that I am going to go for a walk because it's beautiful out right now. I just put my jacket on and I wanted to show you this. Um, these are face shields that I ordered from SA Company. Um, I ordered a bunch. They were having a sale. It took forever for, for them to come in. I'll link it below just so you know they may or may not be in stock. But what's good about them is that they go over your face and they also um, can be a neck cover or they can pull up and be a headband or they can cover your hair as well because they're long enough to go down your neck but i think that they are awesome because it is windy out here so it will be able to cover my face and i won't get wind burn on my lips or my face so i'm going to be wearing this if the wind gets to be too much out here and i'm just going to go take my walk which is probably going to be around three miles and get some sun on my head. It's beautiful out, so I will see you back in a little bit. as soon as I get to a mile which is about six tenths you can see it over the water how rough it is and I'm sure you can see my hair and hear it but holy moly it is a lot more windy than the water was but every morning when I wake up you're not 
canvas print of owls. I don't know if you can see through the canvas. This used to be in my daughter's room when she was little. And when I cleaned out our spare bedroom, I still had the canvas. And my daughter asked me if she could have it. So part of the paint that I got earlier um, was for her to paint over the canvas. She's gonna have to do a couple of coats, but she's gonna paint over it and then she's gonna do her own artwork on it and hang it in her room. So this is one of her creative outlets. I am going to be making for dinner tonight something that my daughter requested. She likes this meal. It's called taco mac and cheese. I will link the video below it. I did make this in one of my what's for dinner videos, but since it was so good, it is definitely worth a repeat. I'm just putting a little olive oil in the bottom of my pot and I'm hitting the saute function on my instant pot. I'm going to saute some, this is ground turkey. You can use ground beef if you'd like. Um, usually I would chop up an onion. I just don't feel like chopping up the onion tonight, so I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder. We're gonna add some taco seasoning to our meat. And when the meat is browned up, we are going to add a can of crushed tomatoes. We're gonna add two and a half cups of pasta. We're gonna add three cups of water and three beef bouillon cubes, or if you have beef broth already made, you can just add three cups of bouillon, three cups of beef broth in there. And then you can use anywhere from a half to a full block of Velveeta cheese. We're gonna do this at the end, so however cheesy you like it is however you make it. Then we're going to make sure that our pasta is submerged in all that, just under the water line, and cook it on high for five minutes. Allow for a natural pressure release, and dinner is going to be made in less than 15 minutes. This meal is delicious. In the beginning I just didn't know that you're an enemy. While our dinner's cooking, I'm just gonna take a minute to meal prep some hard boiled eggs and some carrots and hummus for my um, work for the next two days to keep in my bag. I'm gonna throw some granola bars in my bag and that's what I'm gonna do because in no time our dinner will be ready. Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive, alive. But you didn't want me All you wanted was a game to play Yeah. 
I beat you at your game And if you were me, you would do the same Man, I really love to play And now that I won, then it's safe to say So our dinner's ready and I'm gonna sit down and eat and clean up the kitchen and then finish getting ready for work tomorrow. I really appreciate you coming along with me today and sharing my day. Make sure you hit that subscribe subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. Follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits. I'd appreciate your support over there as well. Until next time, everybody, <laughs> until next time, everybody stay safe and I will catch you next time. Bye. Okay.